Hello my friends, my name is Kaylee, this is The Tea House, and today we are going to go over what I got from Dollar Tree. Now, my Dollar Tree has recently upped their prices to $1.25, in my opinion. It's kind of false advertising to call yourself Dollar Tree, but that's okay. Uh, but there are some things, like seeds, that are still within the dollar range. Uh, so all of these seeds are still four for a dollar. Uh, and so I will go through what we got, uh, and then there were a couple extra things that I was able to pick up while I was there. So, so the first thing that I got is uh, two packets of perennial mix. Uh, I plan on making a larger perennial garden, and so I thought that uh, I would sprinkle this around for me, one packet, uh, and then the other packet is going into the seed library. That's most of what I did, is I got two packets of things that I would like to use and then um, one packet of things that I don't necessarily need to use. Uh, uh, a psyllum. There's two packets there. Uh, Shasta daisies. I don't love Shasta daisies, but uh, I have a couple packs already downstairs for the seed library. Petite yellow marigolds. Um, I love marigolds. Marigolds are um, a really good deterrent for pests, especially bunny rabbits. Uh, this is also Marigold's Cracker Jack Mix Colors. I thought I had another one. Yep, here we go. Uh, French Dwarf Double Mixed Colors. So uh, double, a little more frilly in terms of the Marigold. Um, and that's what that is. Uh, I did get a Cottage Garden Mix. Uh, it's a wildflower mix. I would have liked to get two of these, but... Uh, they only had one, so uh, I was going um, through them, and I noticed that there was quite a few that were no longer available. So uh, I got Single Sensation Mix Cosmos, so that's just a, a single, um, and then we have Bright Lights Cosmos. Uh, I planted Bright Lights Cosmos last year, uh, and they turned out really good, so... Uh, I got zinnias. We got lily pet mixed colors. Uh, I plan to plant a lot of zinnias this year. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, um, to start, um, I don't want to say like a flower farm. We don't have room for to be a farm. Um, but definitely adding a lot of flowers to the backyard and having the ability to potentially sell some of those flowers. Uh, that would be a really nice thing to have in this house. So, uh, zinnia, another zinnia, giant cactus mixed colors. So there's two packets of those. Uh, we have giants of California mixed color zinnias as well. So these are um, the basics kind of of, of the zinnias, especially um, the ones that you can get for these four for a dollar packs. So those are all the zinnias. I got two uh, tall, rust-resistant, mixed-color snapdragons. Uh, I've heard that snapdragons do really well in bouquets, so thought I'd give that a try. I've never actually planted snapdragons. That's my Instapot. I am uh, scalding milk for yogurt. Uh, we have double mixed-color bachelor buttons. I also planted bachelor buttons last year, and they went. They uh, turned out really well. Uh, and double mix color uh, helichrysum. So there's those. Now we are getting onto the vegetables and herbs and the, the other things that aren't flowers. So uh, we have a packet of uh, cayenne peppers. I would like to try to make my own hot sauce. Peppers didn't do really great last year for me. Um, so I would like to try again. Uh, French breakfast radish. This is one of the radishes that the majority of people request in the seed library. I have no idea why, so I always make sure that I have a stock. Uh, we have a Roma VF tomato. Uh, it's just a Roma tomato. Um, I like having some uh, hybrids, which this is obviously one of them. Um, let's see, heavy yielding. Very little juice, determinant, large plants, disease tolerant. So uh, always a good thing to have some um, of those types of options in your seed haul, seed 
storage. Don't only have heirlooms. Uh, we have Nash, Nash, National, blah, 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 National Pickling Cucumber. Uh, and then we have Muncher Cucumbers. So this is a slicing variety. The other one's obviously a pickling variety. Uh, the only herb that they had was this one packet of basil. <laughs> so I got the one packet of basil. Um, I noticed that a lot of people in the seed library also like to um, just do like herbs, just an herb garden. So um, we have quite a few herbs. We have parsley, we have um, basil, we have um, dill, we have other herbs. So um, thyme. I'm not too worried, but yeah, that was the literally the one and only packet of herbs that we had. Uh, and then uh, Blue Lake 274 bush beans. Uh, I did not have success with beans last year. My soil was too new, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to try again. So one of those packets is for me and the other one is for the library. And same thing with the peas. I just got some standard sugar snap peas. Uh, so, um, I will be doing one packet for me and one packet for the library. The only other gardening item that I got was a Neil pad. Um, I saw these last year and I was like, no, it's going to be fine. Um, not a big deal. And then I got pregnant and I realized that I really need one of those. Uh, so this year I plan to wear him the majority of the time that I am out uh, side in the garden so I will definitely be kneeling a lot more than like you know bending over or something like that so um, just because he will fall out of his carrier so uh, I was glad to pick up one of these uh, and then I have three more items uh, to show you a couple of these are uh, children's items including this one uh, so I have the road sign game uh, I think that my daughter I mean, this says three plus. I think that she could potentially have fun with this. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, so I got one of those. And then I also have roadside bingo. Um, so this has, I don't know, it's four dry erase boards and two markers in both of these. So I'm not entirely sure what is on. Oh, they're both roadside bingo. Oh no, this is road sign bingo, and this is road side bingo. Funny. Um, so, we'll see. Um, we are trying to get her to um, figure out some activities that she can do in the car um, while not getting car sick. So, yeah, if you have any uh, ideas, let me know. <laughs> Would love to hear your comments. Uh, and then I picked up four of these little first aid kits. Uh, the th I mean, there's um, Band-Aid, there's 21 items, including the carrying case. Uh, there's Band-Aids, 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 gauze pads, and alcohol prep pads. I am, um, and I've picked up four of these. So I'm gonna be um, making backpacks for um, emergency purposes uh, and so I thought that I would put one of each of those in a backpack. I can't imagine that we would need more than that if we were ever displaced from our house. So, um, And also for the pack backpacks, I picked up, I have two packets of these Imperial Nuts Power Blend and then two packets of the Imperial Nuts Protein Blend. What I find ironic is the Protein Blend has 13 grams of protein, and the Power Blend has 18 grams of protein. I feel like these should have been, you know, flip-flopped in terms of, you know, name, but that is okay. Um, and those will be going in the adult bag, so my bag and my husband's bag. My daughter has other um, snacks. We, she's fine with nuts, um, but these both have almonds in them, and she doesn't always want to chew almonds completely. And that scares me. So um, we have other uh, high protein options for her, for her backpack. And then obviously this little guy uh, isn't eating. So, um, so that is my Dollar Tree haul. I spent, now like I said, uh, my Dollar Tree has already started um, charging $1.25. So it was $1.25 for the nuts, 
the um, the roadside games or the, the travel games, the first aid kits and the kneeling pad, but it was still 25 cents for each of these seeds. So with that in mind, I spent a total of $22 and then there was some tax on there. So it's $23.51 for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you have found this video useful uh, and I highly suggest that if you haven't already and you're looking for seeds, check out Dollar Tree. All of these seeds are great. They can be used um, in the garden. I have no problem with cheaper seed companies because you know what? It gets you to start a garden at a lower price point. Make sure that you like it. Make sure that you, you know, enjoy being outside and, um, you know, getting your hands dirty and those sorts of things before you invest a lot of money in um, a new hobby that hopefully, uh, at least in my eyes, hopefully will um, kind of take over and you can start producing a lot of food for you and your family. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, bye.